Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am um, going to do some, oh my gosh, he's not his mic dispenser was the bathroom, but I'm going to be doing some vlogging and um, I'm showing you guys this new recipe that I'm trying out. Um, I kind of just like came up with it, but I keep seeing people eating zucchini boats online and they look so good and I love zucchini and I have been like searching for zucchini for like weeks and I couldn't find it and then I finally found some. So we're going to make some zucchini boats for dinner and I'm so excited and I'm going to do some rice and then I might do like a salad on the side. I haven't really decided yet, but yeah, let's get to it. All right. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to cut the zucchini. I cut the top and the bottom off the zucchini and excuse my um, knives. I have the crappiest knives, so it takes me 20 years to cut anything. Anyways. You're going to scoop out the inside of the zucchini, but you want to leave enough to where like it has a good cushion. Honestly, it's up to you how much you want to leave in there. I liked it how thick it was, but you're going to scoop out um, the inside of the zucchini and you're going to want to set that aside. Um, we're going to cut it up because we are going to use it. No vegetable left behind here. All right, and then I'm cutting an, up an onion. I didn't use a whole onion because I was literally just making this a portion for me. So I did not want to use a whole onion. So I'm just gonna cut that up really quick. All right, then I'm going to add a green pepper. Honestly, you could use whatever vegetables you want in this. Um, this is just what I had in my fridge that needed to get used up. So I only had an onion and a green pepper. Um, but obviously, you could put tons of stuff in there, um, and it would be really, really good. I love just how easy this recipe can be modified for pretty much anybody. So I'm just going to cut the rest of those up real quick. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and add the meat, and I am just going to season this with some salt and pepper. I have my rice going on in the back, um, but yeah, I'm just seasoning this with some salt and pepper for right now because I'm going to add different seasonings and stuff and sauces when I move it over, and then Spencer likes his a different way, so I'm going to be splitting it up. So I didn't want to add any additional seasonings at this point. All right, so sorry this sounds so weird, guys. I'm using my AirPods, um, <laughs> so I'm very sorry it sounds weird. But um, then I added some garlic to some already heated up olive oil, and then I'm just adding that zucchini, the onion, and the green pepper just to saute everything together and get it all mixed up and flavored. I'm also gonna add some salt and pepper to that. Like I said, I'm adding different sauces, so that is why I'm not using additional seasonings, okay? All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, everything's done. See how there's like a nice brown coat on those veggies? I'm gonna add about a little more than half because I will eat leftovers for lunch um, of the turkey meat to the veggies because like I said that's going to be Spencer's on the side he does not eat vegetables so I'm going to go ahead and mix all that together and then we're going to let it kind of just simmer for a second while it sucks up all the juices and then we're going to add some of the sauces okay so for the sauces I'm using low sodium soy sauce <laughs> Apparently, I was having issues trying to figure out if I was in camera view there. So, honestly, I did not measure anything. I just measured with my heart and just used what I had that sounded good. I'm obsessed with hoisin sauce. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'm literally obsessed with it. So, I just drenched that baby in it. Oh, my God, you guys, the sauce is so good. All right. Then I went ahead and just mixed that all together.
All right. So then I forgot to record this, but after I got done prepping the zucchini, I did put it in the oven at 375 and I just did olive oil and salt and pepper. And I let that cook until my meat was done. And then I went ahead and added my meat and veggie mix into the zucchinis. And then I just threw those back in the oven for about 10-ish minutes or so. They were in there for about 15 before that. All right, so this is Spencer's. He's not a huge veggie guy. And um, I put like a, to a ton of vegetables like you saw in there. So um, I just made his how I used to make um, both of ours. Um, so it's just our friend seasoning on that meat with some rice. And that's what he's going to eat. And then mine is almost done. So I can't wait to show you guys. I already tried some of it. It's so freaking good. All right. So this looks so good. I only grabbed one for now because I'm not sure how hey, filling this is going to be. So I'm going to try it and then we'll see. But it looks so good. It smells so good. show you but I got one of these like little permanent bracelets um like anklets um at the bridal shower that I was just at um it was so cute it's for my cousin um his fiance's bridal shower it was so pretty you guys but look how cute this is okay I, I can't get the best angle there we go but it's one of those permanent bracelets. So it's just like like melted on. Like I don't know how they do it. Like weld it, zap it on, or whatever. They're really cute. Mm -hmm. 